Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 14th, 2020, Valentine's Day. I hope everyone remembered their sweetheart for Valentine's Day. Otherwise, um, you may be making that really quick trip out. <laughs> So how about on this Valentine's Day, we kind of get all cozy in our chairs and let's prepare for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, we have a great Friday shaping up here with a wonderful three-day weekend to follow. That can sometimes create some issues for the market. And let's take a look at the technicals here and see what we have to deal with. First off, we have a very bullish market. Yesterday, we had that coronavirus issue creep back in. We dropped about 200 points at the open. The bulls said, we don't care. We don't care about no stinking virus. We want to go higher. And they pushed on up. And you can see, if we look at trend, depending on how you draw this trend, um, we're testing the underneath side of that resistance. Or if you decide to draw it down here closer to those tails, we're holding that trend beautifully. What is important here is that so far we're holding on to price support here in the Dow and that we have additional price support down in here if we were to continue to slip. Right now, bulls are very much large and in charge. They just will not give up. It would appear that they have a one-minded uh, plan to reach out there for 30,000 in the Dow. And they are pushing with everything that they've got to uh, try and reach up there. The only thing that really seems to be standing in their way right now, too, is the virus um, situation. And all of these company warnings that just keep coming out one after another warning of these potential risks. Um, the CIO of Guggenheim yesterday came out and said that he uh, personally thinks what's going on right now is um, close to ludicrous, that um, we're ignoring major potential impacts. As a matter of fact, um, um, he, he posted in a letter to um, his clients that he thinks that uh, China could see a GDP actually come in uh, as low as a negative 6% next quarter. So while the bulls continue to have this ability to ignore and continue to push higher and higher and higher, we continue to set that that potential risk for that big downside move once those numbers start coming across and once everyone starts to um, say well wait a minute maybe we are getting a little bit carried away here um, there could be some tough days to come and, and and he he actually mentioned in that letter he believes there's some serious days coming um, um, here in the near future. But for now, bulls are very much in charge and price action is where I focus in. You know, what what the Guggenheim CIO is, says is interesting, but price action is king. And right now, price is saying the bulls don't have any fear. We're continuing to push higher. We have great support levels. Even if we do slip or pull back, we've got some great support levels in the chart. Just keep in mind that at any time we could get that shift. And so one of the things I've been talking about and talking about almost at nauseum is to be careful not to overtrade this market because one day we may wake up and the music has stopped and things start going the other direction. So think about that. Um, and as we head into the long weekend, think about the profits that you could potentially take and protect as we head into that weekend. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY during the day yesterday, rallied up, made a new record high yesterday, but ended up pulling back by the end of the day. Once again, trends very, very strong, holding up. Bulls are very much in control. We have a little bit of support level right in here, and we have a much stronger support level right in through this area right here. So any rest or pullback um, wouldn't hurt us at all. Um, technically, in the SPY, the bulls are very, very strong here. Um, my concern is, is if all of a sudden we do um, decide to 
um, respect what is going on um, with this virus outbreak, we could have a really sh sharp or shift move south. So once again, just to echo myself again, be very, very careful. If we take a look at the queues, queues also made new record highs yesterday, plowing on up. And we have um, Intel earnings this morning that should help um, the NASDAQ even more. Intel really powering higher after uh, they uh, provided earnings. So we could even power on higher here yet today. And right now, futures are pointing to green across the board. There's no stopping this market right now. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM pushing higher and you can see IWM is looking at gapping up this morning. Just wild, wild bullishness. Nobody seems to have any concern whatsoever. Uh, about these warnings as they continue to roll in from these companies. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX pulled back yesterday, found a little bit of um, price support. Here, let me get my uh, drawings on here. Found a little bit of price support right off of this downtrend line and bounced up. And then yesterday we, in that, um, little bit of bearish move first thing in the morning we bounced up but boy pulled right back yesterday as those bulls just fired up and they were just tenacious yesterday buying and buying and buying um, driving the market higher they're really one concern for me here is that I think we have some complacency going on and it doesn't seem to matter what price things are there is a ravenous um, desire to buy no matter at what price that always concerns me but as of right now we're not showing that fear and there certainly is no signals that the bulls are done yet so kind of keep that in mind and as we head into this three-day weekend you'll want to consider your risk very carefully how um how much risk do you want to carry into a three-day weekend and the possibility of new news about the virus or expansion or anything, um, things that could um, affect um, us going forward? Um, T2122, the four-week new high, new low ratio. What's kind of interesting yesterday is even though we drove higher in a lot of stocks, um, we saw T2122 pulling back, which means the breadth of the market wasn't all that strong yesterday, um, meaning that we had key select stocks kind of moving um, the market higher um, while we continued to pull back in T2122. But what T2122 tells us more than anything is that if I just draw a line across here, we have plenty of upside room if the bulls can find inspiration to go higher, plenty of upside room before we run into that real problem of that overbought condition on T2122 and we have a big open uh, space to the downside if the bears were to happen to find some inspiration or if Friday profit takers start coming into play. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely as the day progresses. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar. And our economic calendar has a big day on that calendar today. As you can see, we have retail sales here at 8.30 this morning, import export prices at 8.30 this morning. Both of those have the potential for moving the market, but of course, retail sales are, are going to be the most dramatic. I don't think we're expecting any bad numbers here. Um, it'll just be interesting to see how, how they come out. These could continue to come out to be very bullish, and U.S. economy is clearly very strong. Um, industrial production then at 9.15, business inventories at 10, and consumer sentiment at 10. All of these things today have the potential of moving the market. So we'll want to think about that as we um, as they come out this morning. We'll want to watch those pretty closely. They could either inspire us higher or really create that uh, problem where the bears come back in. So let's watch that. Um, if we take a look at our earnings calendar today, we have a lot slower day here on our earnings calendar um, with just under 50 companies reporting earnings. That may calm things down just a little tiny bit, um, but we have quite a few companies to be thinking about. We have um, um, AL reporting this morning. AL looks like AL's trying 
bit ask spread is really wide. By the way, TC2000 allows us to mark bid ask spread and you can see bid ask spread usually gets widened out before an earnings report and it's just because market makers are protecting themselves for that potential move but you can see um, looks like it's it's wanting to go up here so let's keep an eye on that um, on AL ABR ABR reporting this morning looks like they are, are gapping up this morning on a good report. So real estate investment trusts staying strong, moving higher. AZN. AZN will be reporting today. You can see big wide bid ask spread here. No decision on that yet. CGC is reporting this morning. It looks like CGC gapping sharply up this morning. Um, good positive report here on CGC as that moves higher. Looking good there on CGC. Um, MGP. MGP not reporting yet. Big wide bid ask spread as you can see. NWL also reporting looks like they are gapping slightly higher this morning um, uh, pushing up in um, that earnings report ppl will be reporting today no decision there it looks like um, yndx yndx another report reporting today looks like they are gapping lower this morning on their report TRTN is the last one I have is kind of a notable this morning and no report there yet. So a little bit of back and forth in our earnings reports and a, a lot of still waiting to see. But um, just some of those notary, notable reports today that you might want to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. Hopefully you see that these videos are a little bit different than what you might see other places. You know, my career has been built around um, a, a very simple set of um, rules to trade and one of those happens to be uh, working really hard to avoid the drama and the emotion every day and prepare myself for the day ahead of time with this kind of work and I started sharing this with everyone and if you find this to be useful the the morning market prep please do me a favor and, and click that thumbs up button and also leave a comment it helps us continue to grow the channel and I want to say thank you to everyone for doing that um, I truly truly appreciate it um, so you guys are awesome and um, hopefully you're gaining some information um, and some appreciation for the effort here in, in putting out these videos and, and the things that I look at to help me figure out how I want to approach the market for the day without the emotion and hype that you might get in other places. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and I want to remind everyone that all of these stocks that I'm going to be pointing out um, uh, most of the all of everything that I'm looking at right now is bullish because hey the market is just bullish um, that's all there is to it but um, I want to remind everyone that um, every time I look at one of these stocks that um, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security everyone has to do their own evaluation of these charts and decide whether or not that is a suitable trade for you let's take a look here at Allstate Allstate's got a very interesting pattern here um, I call this a pop out of the box pattern and that pattern is really nothing more than a very tight consolidation now, if I pull this trend off of here right now, you can see we've gotten pretty steep in this trend. But notice that no one wants to sell Allstate. So even after that big move um, in earnings, no one wants to sell it. It's just consolidating sideways and moving over here toward the trend. Pretty bullish move yesterday and that opportunity that as we get closer and closer to this trend, we might want to watch for that opportunity for that to pop on out and reach that new leg higher. So keep an eye on Allstate. Looking pretty good there. How about KBH? KBH had a beautiful day yesterday, moving up and reacting to its trend and trying to push on through. So I've got a price alert up here. You can see really moved up sharply. Now, I wouldn't be all surprised to see this continue to kind of rest across here. Um, 
it, it certainly is possible. This morning, the futures are pointing to, uh, well, I, the stock itself is pointing to, it's going to open maybe right in this area or maybe just above that area. But just keep in mind, we can still get these little pullbacks. We get those big moves up and we can still get those little pullbacks back to that trend. But watch that one close. KBH looking pretty good, staying very, very strong in this market. SPLK continues to look really, really good. Um, we moved up, broke this, uh, held this support, broke through. Now we're consolidating around this resistance high, and we could slide over here toward trend. Just keep in mind, this may still have more upside potential. It may continue to rest and slide sideways, but keep an eye on SPLK. It's still forming up very, very strong, looking very nice. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coke continuing to stay very, very strong after this wonderful run and consolidating sideways over toward its trend. Tried to get a little bit bullish yesterday and really tried to push out, but with the selling in the market, it did finally pull back a little bit. But Coke remaining very strong might be one to keep an eye on and consider. Um, Colgate Palmolive. Colgate Palmolive, nice little move here yesterday. So we gap up on earnings and now we've had this little pullback. Now keep in mind that this is a kind of an important area right in here and a little bit messy top right in here. If I move this line up right into here, we could get that little bit of rest back in here, yet a little bit more consolidation back into there. But I got to tell you that pullback and pop yesterday is looking pretty strong here in Colgate. And so you might want to keep an eye on that chart looking overall very, very nice. Monster Beverage continues to look very good and yesterday kept triggering my alert in and out, um, showing bullishness here in this great, wonderful, very concise price action trend, beautiful market moves, and looking very, very good. So keep an eye on Monster Beverage, uh, looking very, very uh, bullish here, and uh, very strong uh, as well. MNK, I mentioned yesterday as that possibility, trying to break higher. I think it started to make a decision yesterday to maybe move lower. This is gonna bounce off of my list for now. Don't really like this. Um, pattern here. It's a pattern I call an Oreo cookie. You won't find that in any candlestick pattern uh, book, but it's a dark candle, white filling, dark candle, an Oreo cookie, and that tends to lead to more downside. So not very happy with that failure there. So M and K coming off of my list uh, for now. And that's why I wait for trades to come to me. I don't anticipate trades. I wait for them because sometimes they fail like this and I don't have to worry about it. Um, M, um, home continues to look very good. Home breaking through that resistance held up very nicely yesterday, hanging in there. Don't be too surprised if we get a little more consolidation out here, come back over here to meet up with that trend again. But let's keep an eye on this. We have a big open space above for home to be able to move in. And breaking that downtrend, we have good upside potential. So keep an eye on home. It's looking very, very good um, and continues to show a uh, lots and lots of strength. Um, this SPCE, I was kind of surprised to see this continue to move up yesterday, but when I was kind of surprised to see the overall market um, ignore everything and continue to go up yesterday. So um, no surprise there, I guess. So this moved up very, very strongly. Any rest or pullback in here could set up an opportunity um, in that trade. So keep that one on your list, but I do expect some kind of a rest or pullback in that chart. BBY continues to show good positive signs here. Breaking this little downtrend here, holding it as support, rallying on through, now resting up in here. If this just consolidates out here, or rests a little bit, but doesn't give up that support, we wanna watch for that next opportunity for this to just break on out and keep on going. Uh, BBY looking pretty good. Another one that I think is really interesting is Twitter. Twitter popped on its earnings report, had a pretty substantial pullback, but um, rallying back up, holding on to this little support 
support area and following through yesterday. So Twitter looking good. And even if this were to rest up here for a while, Twitter's looking pretty good for some potential upside moves. We'll want to keep an eye on that chart. So there are more charts than you can possibly shake a stick at for um, potential upside trades right now. It's very, very difficult to pick up anything for a short trade that will hold for a short trade. Uh, take a look at Costco, um, another very strong chart yesterday, moving up very solidly. Costco just showing all kinds of bullishness in the market. And you can just look all over the place and see these kind of charts. Now, one thing I will mention here that does concern me is yesterday also seeing gold moving higher, um, seeing um, utilities these are considered more conservative um, places for safety and seeing those race higher yesterday brings a little bit of concern to me that eventually this, uh, this will end and I want to caution everyone to, to just be careful, not over trade, to um, make sure that you're taking those profits along the way because one day the music will stop. When that might be, heck, it might be six months from now, I don't know. But one day that music will stop and we want, want to make sure that we're not in a position where we can get damaged heavily when that occurs. So everyone, with that, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and great profits. And not only that, I want to wish you an awesome three-day weekend. We have Monday off, which means I won't be back until Tuesday for the boarding market prep video. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning.